right, so here we are at the Venema Natural Drainage System Project. It's an active construction project. They're in the process of putting in some fairly big bioretention systems, but we're also out here during the rain. We're also constructing in the winter. So one of the things that's really important with your bioretention systems is to make sure you have good temporary erosion and sediment controls. So at this site, the contractors have been putting down plastic to protect the soil. Um, with bioretention systems, infiltration into the native soil is a very big component of it. Um, and so protecting those soils and making sure there's not a lot of silts that run off onto those soils and clog the infiltration capacity of the soils is very important. So that's what this plastic is doing, is trying to protect the existing soils. It's on the sides to protect the rain from eroding those soils down into the cells. So here I am standing near one of the inlets on the Venema project. Um, there's different ways to protect them, but the way that this project is protecting the inlet from any sediment off of the project site is they have a filter sock in the inlet in addition to the straw waddles surrounding it to keep any sort of dirty water from getting into the inlet. So here's the filter sock. So this is the outside of it. You wanna make sure that's outside of your inlet and doesn't flop in, which would just keep water from actually getting into it. Um, and then down here, it's an area for the water to run in and capture all the sediment and slowly kind of filter out of the sock. Um, this project drains to Piper Creek's watershed, so it's really important to keep the sediments out of the creek and just within sort of the job site. Over here, they have a, they're doing something different. So this street, there's no drainage, all the water runs down. And without this sort of added sort of measure here, a lot of this water during a large event could cut over and go into the project site, which is not what we want. So they put a waddle around this drain to make sure the water gets into the drain. So at this project site, you can see some of the um, design elements that you might use when you're on a steeper slope. So this project site, the slope is probably somewhere around 10%. And when you have a steeper slope, your bioretention bottom area, if you want it to be flat or just slightly sloped, so you can maximize that bottom area and maximize the infiltration through the bottom, you need weirs to kind of step the grade down. So here you can see this is in the middle of construction but there's, there's a bunch of weirs to kind of step it down. Eventually this will be filled in with maybe three to six inches of ponding below the lower invert of the weir. Um, the water can come in, it'll soak in, and then sort of there's a lot of water coming into the system. And so the rest of the water will just kind of flow on down. So this Venema project has been designed to take a lot of water from up in the basin. So it's not just the street that's coming to it, which is why it's so large. And that's what these black pipes are doing. They're bringing water from other areas. You need to dissipate that water before into the bioretention soil part of the cell. Otherwise, you're gonna get a lot of fines and turbulence that's gonna kind of mess up your system. 